leaves and they go vertical. They go straight up. Like a bridge. Like a bridge if it was raising to let the cars go up under it. I mean the boats go up, up pass up under it like that. Well, these, they go straight up in the air like that. And then they anchor themselves together. All these ships, they fly. And they anchor themselves together. And, and um, they use the weight of each other to sustain each other. And then that way they all have to use the least, least amount of electricity because they can all block in the grid together and all have ways to keep them sources of power sustained with each other. That's, this is the only place in the universe that has no unity like that. But everywhere you travel you always go where people is not trying to necessarily make a profit off of you. They're just trying to push the effort of sustainment, push everybody do they push to make sure that everyone stays in a balance of um, of we can we, we can depend on each other, and then we know that that's and then everyone stays together to fight off infestation, which brings me back to the earth and this religion stuff. And the reason why they get upset when I tell you about those little grays that um, Morris Donaldson be talking about, I've seen those things more than once too. Yeah, that's why they. Uh, They, it's a lot of stuff that's been going on on this earth. They, they've been keeping everybody asleep by keeping you locked in to those little phones. Well, you waste so much time testing. And then the poverty thing keep people broke too. That's a real big, that's a real big one there. Where you can't go anywhere. Then throw in the smoking habit. If you smoke two packs of cigarettes a day, that's twenty dollars a day. How are you gonna have hundred and forty dollars a week to support a habit like that? See, all this stuff comes from corporations commercializing everything. So the smart people that they call those little grays are the ones who think all this stuff up, and they actually are eating your, eating people too. And this is what's sad, and this is what's horrible. This is what I want everybody to know. They um. They're everywhere. Everywhere you look, they even are above ground. They in, they're in a lot of places where you intermingle with people all day and you don't even know that that's who they are. And that's that's who they are. They they are those shapeshifters. And see, you can you can pick up on their vibrations on them if you really, really are clean, but you won't be able to if you don't even know that you're able to. See, that's the thing about it. There's people that's walking around on this earth right now that are not human. And I mean, they're not. You, you think that they are, but they're not. Because they're just like what everyone has been saying. They can make themselves look like human and blend in with human. And so the reason why the sun is showing you guys that I have all this this power and all this capability and this connection with these UFOs and this connection with the sunlight is because I was sent here to help you all. But when I tell you you're so goddamn stupid, it's all because I know that I need to get inside of you and get at you and disturb you and rough you up and make you start thinking. And if, if it takes a school bus, to flip over or if it takes a mountain to slide down on the village, if it takes for the whole earth to open up and swallow a whole city, what is going to be the cost that was too big or it was just too expensive if for the long run the overall percentage of everyone on earth gets saved and does not have to be destroyed? Because like I've always said to everyone through honesty, whether you believe I'm who I am or not, it's not going to have anything to do with the true dynamics of me being who I am. It's those dynamics. And your stupidity is going to really cost you a lot. I keep trying to point, everybody keep trying to look at my personification and I'm trying to tell you I am a whole lot of things. 
All right? Believe that. I do so much stuff. And when you be able to communicate with this body, don't think that the body is that which encompasses the true dynamics of me. It is not. The true dynamics of me is the light source energy, the sunlight that is encapsulated inside of these aggregates is who I truly am. I keep trying to point that out to you. You know, you guys, it's just, it's amazing that you can't get that. You want that to belong to one dead man that has never been around in the whole time that you've been sitting around here trying to force everyone into receiving that bullshit. They're nowhere around. And even when someone have to come back and get something from you guys that you have stolen from everyone, some of your attitudes are just so messed up, it's pathetic. And then there's some people who's there that just genuinely should be there. And that's the reason why I say that type of circumstance and that type of community necessity should not be controlled by the church groups. It should not because the only thing that does is give the church groups more power to manipulate people into receiving them more or being deprived more. So it's the relaunching of deprivation that gives support for the church to be rooted. The, the, the launching of deprivation is the rooting of the church. All right. Everybody who needed soup, the soup, the soup lines and everything, it's always the church. See, the church has the, the answer to all the problems because it's starting all the problems. And you can't get mad at me for being the person that come here and see that and want to point that out to you. I'm saying to you, the Catholic Church, along with the Christian churches, are the reasons that you guys are all being misled and broke and poor all the time. You should, de you should be deifying yourself and deifying your children. And, and looking in the mirror, knowing you're looking at God, and take your children and stand them in the mirror with you and tell them you are God. And then let your child stand in the mirror with someone else's child and tell them both that they are God and everything. And stop with this having a religion that make you believe that your white skin makes you purer than other and that you have a right to hang people and hate people. Because that's all that is, is the perpetuation of hatred. And then the other day, I know for a fact, I saw in the morning, the news flash that came on and told me that there was three white kids that killed that white man that was jogging that morning. I saw it two times on KATU news. And then that night, it go change. And then they got to bring a whole new thing out, and that is three black men now that did the murder with the same description of how to murder and the same motive. And I'm sitting here saying, now what kind of bullshit is that? And see, this is the Zionist bullshit that the son has told me to boldly tell them, you know what, you guys better start thinking over because all this murder and everything that you've done over the... And then after I come and tell you all about World War One, World War Two. The Catholic Church, why all this stuff done happened on the earth, you had the nerves to ostracize me for telling the truth. And the son is sitting there looking saying, it's okay. It is okay. Don't even worry about it. Because see, like you told them, what if it flood here? What if the school bus flip over? All these things you're saying to them is because I'm telling you to say that to them. And they know that. They all know it. The problem is that they want to sit up and have their cake and eat it too. And really try to subscribe to all that bullshit that they want so they can keep being the brutal people that they have been and keep abusing my melanated children on that earth is what they plan on doing forever. These white men is enjoying having these black women and doing all the drugs they can do from all the money that they've gotten off enslaving and making failures of all of the men. And then you don't have a woman to help you because where is she at? She's somewhere fooling around with him, doing cocaine with him, doing heroin with him, drinking crystal with him. Okay, why the men is out here going through all their prison systems, all this bullshit that we have to go through watching them and the Mexicans laugh because the Mexicans are having the black women too. And then they have the nerves to get really, really mad if you even look at one of their women or say a complimentary thing about them, you know? And this ain't the hatred that I'm preaching. This is the description of the world that I'm preaching. So see, that's what you all need to stop doing is trying to look at me 
as if I'm the bad person when the only thing I do is come out here and talk to myself and put it on YouTube. And then other people that want to hear it, they got a right to come in here. But if you is a person that don't want to hear it and you're going to get mad because I said it, then what make you think that you are the person invited to hear this? Because some people can stomach the truth. And those are the people that I want to talk to. The people out there who knows for a fact that what you white people did is you got together with your religion and you victimized everyone on the earth and you kept us all under your thumb with your guns and your corrupt, corrupt policing and your deprivation at the work sites and everything that you did, you sent all those jobs from Detroit to Mexico and destroyed Detroit. Okay, so don't sit up and try to act like what I'm saying is not true. When you can go back yourself and you can look at all of the issues of what efforts you white people put out and why you put them out, you will see for a fact that it has seemed like there is a pattern of you guys implementing strategy to make sure that you always could benefit and make a profit off of us being displaced and despaired and desolate and dumb as hell, all right? And under the foolish propagandas of your indoctrination about your white God. And we send our dumb asses up, teaching our children to respect, as we all die and go to prison, your prisons over and over and over, all right? As we all die and do your drugs and drink your alcohol and do those foolish TV shows that you want us to not ever be privileged to do anything but stuff like that. As all this shit be going down around the world, you want us never to wake up and be able to stand to you and challenge you, accuse you, and prove you guilty of the genocide that you have committed and the oppression that you are committing and the genocide you are committing. All right, And the theft and the prostitution, and all the drug racketeering, and all of the misconducts, all right? Now, here you is, now you got some, some guy that's, what is fool down in California? They talk about he been using funds and this and that, and woo -woo -woo. they don't want to say nothing, they push that under the rug, he's been a judge or something, right? No arrests, none of that, it, it, but then the policeman was out here, Okay, they arrested his ass for getting him some coochie, uchi uchi, And then, that's what I'm saying. So many people be so privileged to, and they in a position to do crimes and get away with it at taxpayers' expense. Like that judge, whatever. If you if you on the bench and then you're going to be committing a crime that you somebody comes stand in front of you for doing and you can lock them up, put them in jail, why don't you get arrested too? See, this is the hypocrite privilege that white men have from standing behind that white Jesus. And of course, when I come down here and attack that, that means that all the jobs get slammed in my face, all right? And all this, and see, that's the reason why I'm telling you guys that the universe is going to eradicate you all off the planet because you know that that stuff is going on and you all turn your head the other way because just like I say, you all want to have your religion that gives you all those privileges to do all that sodomizing to do all this false incarcerating. Your own Bible told you it was all right to go in the land of other people and to murder them and to steal their shit and to show them no mercy. All right, I showed you that in your own book. It's Deut Deuteronomy 7. Just go ahead and see for yourself. If you don't believe me, go open the book in Deuteronomy, go to chapter 7 and read it and see how Jehovah or Jesus or Yahweh or God, whatever name you want to give it right there, you just go see that it tells you guys that it's ordained by your God to be the uncaring, brutal, savage, oppressive people that you are. And the saddest part is that you've convinced yourself through that book that what it says is 100% ordained and true words of God and that you completely overlook, wait a minute, these are criminal acts that we're doing. We are stealing these people wealth. We should not sit our white asses up and think that we are privileged to go around the world with our armies everywhere we want to go and force our God and everywhere around the world.